Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn where we have things to do and explosions to explode. So should we start with the explosions? Yes, I think we should. Where are you going? Okay, let's start with some explosions. Actually, let's not. Let's not, because we don't have all the explosions to do yet. I've got to um actually put in the things here for the explosions. So, uh, boom, boom, and I've just removed all of the stairs up to that point. Okay, so, yeah, no, fine, fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's, let's, um, yeah, uh, let's just spray things. So, um, um, uh, yeah, uh, explode, 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 explode. Go, 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 go. Okie dokie. Awesome, 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 awesome. And you. Yeah, cool. Okay, um, how are we here? How are we here? So I need to leave the water still running down this edge here. So I need to make sure I don't blow up too deep down here. So let's put in uh, two, all twos down there, all twos down there. You're going to be ones there. You don't want to be a three. You want to be a two. Going to be ones there. Okay. And then other than that, we go with twos. Doop. And threes. Like that. There we go. Got nobody to get up there because I've messed it up. But um, that's okay. That's okay. Run this path along to there and run this path along to here. Let's um uh, just build a single platform up to there. Uh, and then we'll put a ladder in here so you can get to that one. We'll let them get up to that one to put that one in, so that'd be cool. Okay. Uh, let's also build uh, a road down there. Although we have already built all the way along this edge here. Um, but we could put another... Let's put a stairway in. Stairways are cheaper than ladders, so there you go. Boom. Uh, also, more explosions, more explosions. So push the buttons here. Hopefully no beavers are nearby. No, they're fine. Oh. <gasps> no! No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean it. I. I didn't. I, I, Zinjo. Zinjo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, we didn't mean it. We didn't mean it. It. It was. It was an accident. It was. Um. It was. It was. Uh. uh we were. We were testing. Um. Uh. Um. Beaver Space Program, and um, you volunteered. Congratulations! It didn't quite work out very well, but don't worry. Uh, Jebediah Beaver will uh, is very proud of you. So, um, uh, yeah. No. Oh well. Oh well. Right. Um, can't do much about it now. He's um, he's uh, he's in the land of the um, uh, he's he's gone to paradise. Gone to paradise. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Um, beavers love paradise. Always trying to get there. Always trying to get to paradise. Let's try and build this here. Um, we'll try and do this here. Uh, let's um, um, move on. Move on. Let's move on. Uh, I've got loads of stuff over here. I need to explode and things, but this is all sorts of messed up. I need to get up here to finish up some stuff over there so that i'm gonna leave for the minute because it's complicated however there is something else far more imperative um and that is this here we have no more scrap and we are going to need more scrap because scrap is important uh so um let's first of all let's get rid of this uh overhang here Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
Um, we'll leave that there for the minute because then beavers can get up there if they want to. Cool, well, then we can block the back of there. That's cool. That gives us access to that. We need to fill in the ground here, which is kind of difficult because we don't actually have an excavator working. I was looking around where I want to put an excavator. Um, and uh, I uh, can't kind of decide. Let's put in the uh, the um, the metal first. So we need to get a efficient mine. Now I could put it in this way, but I don't want to. There is a gap in between there, but I really don't want to do that. I'm going to face it away from it so that it can actually we'll face it that way. It's um, and then it can have uh, a road which goes this way. And it can have storage the other side of the road. That's what I'm doing. I want to put storage the other side of the road. So uh, we've got some scrap metal stored here. Um, I would like some scrap metal stored outside this one, outside this one. Not a lot of scrap metal. I'm not all that fussed about having like, ridiculous amounts of it. So we're just going like, to kind of put one there. And then we'll do the same for this one. We we'll might kind of put one there. Uh, we need to fill this in uh, and um, raise this up. But we need to make sure we have the stuff to fill it in first. Uh, I've got so many roads dotted around all over the place. I don't really know what's going on with them. Let's, let's clear out some of these roads. and free up some beaver logic there we go okay so uh when it comes to the um uh the excavator i was thinking of putting it in here like this um maybe lower it down by one and uh then have the power come out go along go down and plug into it yeah we're going to affect the batteries yeah i don't want to put it to the edge because um we then see it on this side, we see it be digging a big hole. I'd rather have it one inside. Then we can put like a fence around it. Stop beavers from walking inside this. So I kind of like that idea. Does mean I need to do something. I need to get power to it. Um, I'm really not sure. We'll do that. We could put it over here. Um, Not quite sure which way round I want to do it. Uh, also, it could go here, for instance, like that. We could try and get power down to it. That way, I mean, realistically, it wants to go like here somewhere. Uh, but that doesn't work for our, our thing. I can't put it there because the roads and stuff. So it, it's just it's because it's it's not a five by five. It's a six by five. Which makes life a little awkward. We've only got a four before gap in here anyway. So um uh Yeah, not really anywhere I can put it that's gonna be It's gonna be useful, not anywhere I can put it that's gonna be uh somewhere I can get it and get the power connected to it without doing something really bizarre with the power line. So if I don't put it there, oh, I'd actually want to put it one down on the floor. So I'd actually want to blow a hole and put it one on the floor here. Let me pause the game moment here. Um, to get power to it, I have to come out of here, go along and go down, which is doable. We can put in platforms and stuff to come out, go along, go down. Um, we can do that. It's just awkward. There are no more industrial buildings, however, so we can run the power out of any of these, really. I can run the power out here, bring it down and just short on this load here because of the size of this that's I mean, that's kind of an option we could um put it in here we could do that i think we'll do that i think we'll do that we're going to slightly offset the um We put it in there. Problem is getting power. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. There's no way I can get power to it.
Apparently you're allowed to fit the building. I don't know why you're allowed to fit this building, but you can. Uh, put it there. Um, or we could put it there. Put it there. We could run the power off here, down into it. That would work. We'll do it there. We'll do it there. So let's make a five by six explosion here. And I want to prioritize this, please, if you don't mind. Okay, beavers. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to run the power So I uh, also need to put in actually one more explosive uh, there. So the power is going to be in there and plugged into the side of it. And it's going to come up. I'd like for it to come up, come out and go up and connect to it. But I don't think we can do that. I don't think we can do that. We might be able to, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, something else I want to have a quick look at. Oh, I'm just thinking about it. Um, can I put in decorations? We have a fence somewhere, don't we? Uh, yeah, wooden fence. Wooden fences can go under platforms. Ah, okay. Okay. I have an idea. We're gonna give it a try. So, blow that up there. All right, let's, uh, let, me, let me pause the game so I can build this without the beavers doing weird things. So, we need an upward power shaft that's gonna connect to the side of the building there. Not there, but up. Okay. We then go up and up and up and up and up and up. And then we turn sideways here. Then we just come along and then go up and connect to that. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is build a ladder here. No, not a ladder. Build a platform. I don't know if they can build this. I mean, we can't really get on top of it. I don't know if they can build this first. Let's find out if they can build this first. If they can, then we'll be okay for some stuff. But if they can't, then we'll have to figure out another way around. So, to also block this along here. And uh, let's put in two wide. Oh, hold on. Uh, there, do that. <laughs> Prioritize this, please. Oh, it's down. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you are paused. Everyone's paused. Oh, you should be paused as well. I uh, paused all the uh, workshops because I was moving loads of stuff around, like planks and things. Uh, I then kind of come to realise that maybe we don't have any planks left. We've got 127. Let's um, unpause these guys now, actually. Get working. <clears throat> that might help. That might help. Pop, pop and pop. You can put that one there. That'd be cool. Uh, once you build these ones here, you can build all these ones here, which would be cool. Uh, you're going to build most of these ones out here anyway. That's cool. Let's do that. Put in the storage for the wood here as well. Might not be a terrible idea. Let's get the wood storage going in. Uh, I think we're going to do the wood storage slightly different than the other ones. I'm not going to do three. We could do three. And have the center one be logs. So yeah, let's do that. So, bomb, bomb, bomb. So, you're going to be uh, plank. You're going to be logs. And you're going to be planks. So, there we go. Uh, I didn't do it here. Um, really, the center one should be uh, planks. So we might do that. We might make the center one planks and just move this over by one. Uh, this is all kind of in the way here. I have built the first section of the underground thing. So this is actually powered via this. 
So this does exist in here now, which is awesome. Um, does mean we could potentially tap into it as well. If I run a path along uh, under here, we could potentially tap into it to run these temporarily. Just to keep our food going. Uh, we'd have to move the uh, oil press, definitely. But okay, Can you build this? Apparently you can. Is that from the top? Can you stand here and lean over and throw things through the floor? Or can you just not build it at all? I don't think anyone's coming here. All right, they're building it. Where, where are you building it from? Yeah, from the top. They are doing it. Awesome. It works. It works. Okay. Which means if I did... Uh, triple double <laughs> and then an overhang there see where I'm going with this I didn't have to do this I could have run the power up come along and come straight up and that would have been just as easy but why make things easy when you can make things complicated and i also want to kind of test um uh well sorry that was a terrible statement why make things easy when making complicated no I, I do i want to test um i want to test this stuff i want to test the overhangs and the bits pieces so you know dum -dum. unfortunately there's no way i can run the overhang here because you can't uh put an overhang in uh and then put a vertical power shaft inside it because um you, you, you can't yeah no, that must sit on top so yeah which is a shame which is a shame you can't run a vertical power shaft through an overhang that would be quite nice but there you go so we're going we're going power shaft up there and it comes along comes up and then connects to there so it's uh dumb. it could have come straight down and it's run along and connected to it that would have been perfectly fine as well but my reasoning for wanting to know whether i can um do uh, fences was because i kind of wanted to do a metal fence all the way around this to kind of just seal it off and be like nope no no you're not allowed not allowed it so beavers don't fall into it so uh yeah so we'll do yeah i'm not about fence it's fine and then that and then we put in the uh dirt excavator there it's fenced off so no beaver can fall into it um have probably actually made it up one higher now i think about it um so the front of it could be the fence edge as well but oh well oh well i didn't think about that at the time that's fine that's fine we could still fit it in and do things and change up and yada yada but i'd have to then delete the entire shaft there because of no no we'll leave it um and then we want to put in some industrial warehouses and i'm gonna do uh I know what I want to do here, but I can't do it because the ladders block a pathway. I want to run a path out from this straight across and have storages either side of the road. But I can't do that because... Um, uh, I could do this, which looks a bit odd, but would work. Then we'll run a ladder up there and uh, delete that. Also, delete that and delete that. The ladder across the road like that, and like that, and like that. There we go. So you haven't got one there because of that there, but that's fine. And then that lets the path out this way. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and they should be able to build all this because they can build this from the ground. They can build this from up above. Everything can be awesome and wonderful. And they can be much rejoicing. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so there's that done there. Uh, this has been built a little bit here, which was surprising, but that's because they could actually get up onto the edge and build along there, which um, it did surprise me, but then I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's actually, yeah. Okay, we can blow this one up. Awesome. No. Nice, nice, nice. Um... 
we can blow this up here don't go to the edge we need the edge to be there I could get rid of one of these explosives and blow the top up I'm not going to we're gonna see that let's blow that up and then get rid of that oops that was too far down Oop, put the ground back in there that should be the two not a three but that's fine um that's a priority to pick up if beavers can ever get up there again uh which i think we probably will because i'll probably run a ladder up and uh, just down into it and run a path away along the center makes sense these are too far away from the town district this is too far away as well i'll just just rubble on the floor everywhere loads of rubble everywhere so but that's okay that's okay we'll be fine we'll be fine uh doop 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 You want to do that, seal that off. Okay, Beavers have got lots to do. Lots to do. Um, I'd like to prioritize getting this running. So let's, um, oh, that's nice as well. That's nice, because it knows that this is on top of a platform that goes across. It's actually, if I highlight the top one to prioritize it, it does the whole, it goes across and comes down again. The only thing it doesn't do is the, um, the, uh, the power in there. But that's cool. Okay, would you do that? And then would you do that? Uh, and also, would you do uh, that? Please, in here, please. We have a path connecting the thing together. Thank you. And that could be powered. And then we can start getting beavers to get to the dirt. The dirt can then be used to fill in the holes. Um, which is nice. So we also need to fill in all this over here. Which would be very nice to do. Run a road up here and just along there. So you can actually fill in all that there. That'd be great. Uh, we've got spaces for these here. Ah, right. So let's figure out where our fourth um, exploding point's going to go. Is it here? Yes, it is. Right there. So that's our, our four co corners of our um town so let's wait for night time to come so our beavers aren't out in the fields and can't be launched into space can't believe i killed a beaver by mistake i mean you know normally they die of dehydration or um uh rapid unplanned uh dieting this time around that so yeah so that's that's where the water's gonna go that's that um i haven't done any testing as to whether um putting impermeable floors in uh would stop it leaking I, I need to i need to do a little bit of testing i need to do a little bit of testing i will do that i'll do that off camera because i can muck about with it and see how things are going so um basically what i want to test is whether a three by three hole with dirt all around it is different to a three by three hole with levees on the bottom or with impermeable floor on the bottom. For instance, that's the thing. We want we want the water to be spread out. That's the thing. But I don't know whether if you put impermeable floor on the bottom, it will not dry out as quickly. I don't think that makes any difference at all. If I'm entirely honest with you, I don't believe that's going to make any difference whatsoever. Um, but I want to test it. I need I need to have a a double look double check thing on it at some point so uh, i'm sure we could figure out how to do it with um uh, in fact i could probably figure out how to do it in here naturally with a uh, say naturally there's nothing natural about the way we're doing things here um let's go down here let's do an experiment and then we can test it together so let's do Yes, put them next to each other, put them like that. Okay. We will test we will test something. So can beavers can you build this for us, please? We want this before the uh the bad side finishes. If you don't mind, we're gonna run an experiment and we'll find out the results of it in the next episode. Provided we get a long enough drought. Of course. I don't think impermeable floors will make any difference to the evaporation rate. Not evaporation rate, the um to the rate of the uh the water. I don't think it'll make any difference to it. But I need to give it a test. 
need to give it a test. Uh, we're out of trees, which is a bit of a problem. Um, not a huge mega problem, but definitely a bit of a problem. Um, do you want to plant some more trees over here? Not really. I'd rather just wait for the trees to grow uh, and suffer for a bit because we're not all that fussed about it. So, okay, you gonna build this? Needs a log. We don't have any logs anywhere, do we? We've got some trees over here. Let's put in a uh, lumberjack over here. Uh, say, would you chop down all these guys here? Yourself a few trees in that'd be nice um and then what i'm gonna do with here uh, the reason i've left that out there is because um uh, i'm gonna blow this up blow this up put impenable floors in the bottom of this one blow that up put in floor. i need to get to the center so that's why i've done that um and then uh have this one just open and this one impenable floors on the bottom let the water flow over them everything fine next time we get a decent drought um we'll be able to uh test it by um just watching them see how they drop or whatever so that's the plan for that very simple test, very easy to do, uh, and we can do it with our natural water supply going on there, so that won't be a problem. Um, I just need, uh, I don't know what half my builders are doing, if I'm honest with you. I think, I did put in two new hauling posts over here, but they are lowest priority, so uh, they'll be fine, I think. Uh, I think we're just converting them all to logs, aren't we, all to planks? A bit of a problem, but I mean, my builders come in here, so so okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's um, the water's gonna come back now, that's fine. We'll get some stuff going here, we we'll get some plants going, blah, blah, blah. that'd be not a problem at all. Um, let me just wait for the trees to grow, and uh, then we'll come back and test this and see what the results are. Well, the experiment is going to have to wait a little bit longer because we've had two bad water drought, bad bad tides in a row, and both of them have only been sort of nine days. So uh, it's not enough for this water to drain out completely. So uh, yeah. However, there is a floor down here now because this is done here. Um, I had to wait for that to be finished because we've run out of metal completely. So that was a bit of a pain. This is doing the official one because we now have the ability to do all the things. So that's all running there beautifully this is running this is working this is fine we just don't have enough trees we absolutely need to dedicate from this tile here all the way to the corner there well all the way up to here at least anyway um this is going to be forest it's going to be forest area the whole thing's going to be oak trees just full of oak trees with uh <clears throat> lumberjacks in there and uh storages and yeah just gonna be full of oak trees that's what we're gonna do um we need to figure out this. This is going to be the complicated thing um, because obviously I want these to pour into this channel, which is fine. We can do that. That's not a problem. But I also want to have this on the floor like this, a three by three hole on the floor down here, which is difficult because that puts it there, which means the water's going to pour over. So I need to do an overhang underneath this thing to... Um, support thing so we might we might move that bad water discharge over by one i'm going to try and do it without moving it first i want to try and figure out whether we can like explode all the way around it shut it down explode all the way around it so it's just this thin uh and then put in like um uh we, we could put platforms in with levees on top of the platforms and that would work like, and just levy along to there over to here and back to there again Dum, dum, dum. Um, but if I move it over by one and then we did that levy instead it would look better and it would just be like a, a block of dirt coming up um, so it would look it's going to look a bit weird whatever we do I could try and stylize it more like a mountain I suppose uh, but we'll see we'll see I'm not opposed to moving them over but I want to try it without moving first but, but anyway we're going to bring this episode to a close here and we will come back next time where we will continue to do all the things we can do which involves blowing up more and more and more and more and more stuff so thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one i hope to see you again next one and so as always have fun <laughs>